So the game that I decided to do is a uh, blackjack. I called it uh, twenty one. It's a modified version of blackjack, which doesn't contain the money aspect, like casino aspect, but it has some different rules and uh, different mechanics. So uh, this is our main class. Just really a really big P two stuff that I just I don't know why I did this, but. It's basically first launch stuff, then taking input and then starting thing. So we'll start with cards. Uh, so this basic uh, card class, which uh, holds these two items, and uh, I'm willing to reveal or not the card. Then here are suits with some unicorns to better represent them. Uh, the values of the cards really. This is temporary. This is hidden for logic. Uh, this is a deck, really, a basic deck, holds the Dynamic Card Array, creates a deck of six, 6 decks, 30 cards, 4 suits, which is the normal uh, blackjack, just a basic shuffle. Uh, this is our player class, which, uh, well, it's a basic player class, handles control, like add cards, uh, choosing a days. Finishing the player, like no more moves left, the uh, no more actions left. Uh, just value display all that stuff. This is our main class, uh, main logic class, I'd say. So this is where everything happens. This is the function that that gets called by uh our application class. Just a really um starts here. It creates a uh, deck, players and dealers. So there's our loop. If it's not yet a dealer's turn, there's a check for that. That it uh, asks each player, react to hit or not, blah blah blah, input validation, printing, uh, some conditionals, we're checking, and then handling game over and stuff, and dealing. And this is a dynamic card array, which is uh, really basic, like what, uh, what was shown in class. Just a really manual array list, I would say. And then this is our item for standard reasons. You have stand, blackjack, and bust. Basically, it's not stand reason really, but it's why you can't do a more action because you either stood, busted, or already won the blackjack. Uh, so I will run it. So let's delete this uh, dummy file. Uh, all right. This is your first time watching the game. I have to read the rules. Just read the rules. Blah blah blah. So let's say we want two players to play. Let's say hello world. So it dealing then the dealer has a ten of whatever the symbol is and a hidden card. So uh, hello, would you like to hit or stand? I think he would like to hit. So I hit and then world also hit. So then, hello bust. So world, I think he will st stay, uh, stand. So then, this is the hitting, it gets revealed, and it's a king. It stands at 20, and no one wins. And then, if you wanna play another game, say yes. So it, it gives the same players. Uh, he has a 10 again. But this time we have a king and this. Uh, both will stand, I think. So what both of them said, he got a 10 and other. He's got 20. Oh, he's really lucky. Okay, now he has a 3 of heart and a hidden. Hello hit, well hit. Okay, so hello has a choice to choose an ace value. Uh, yeah, of course, the one. <laughs> so hello has 15, world 19. I think we both stay. So then... This is a 9, Q, so he busted. And then these are the winners. Oops. Let me see the time. Ah, uh, 30 seconds. Uh, I'll do another game. So, uh, hit, stay. Uh, hit. Uh, 11. Uh, stay. So, this is the, so it's a J, Q, he busted. So, they won. Uh, it's really simple. If I run it again, you'll see that it no longer prompts the instructions, uh, the same. 
It just asks how many players want to play. I just get to use the same room. This is a really cool thing I did. Ah, uh, this is some cool catching stuff. <laughs> this is really nice. And uh, yeah, I hope you like my presentation.